Every time your finger touches a screen, you're using a contact force. But have you ever wondered why your finger doesn't just slip right off the screen? Well, that's because of friction, a force that happens when two surfaces rub against each other. Friction happens because even surfaces that look smooth actually have tiny bumps. When two things touch, these bumps catch on each other, making it harder for them to slide past. It's like when two pieces of sandpaper rub together. That's friction. So when you use a touchscreen, you do need some friction so your finger doesn't just slip everywhere. But too much friction would make your finger get stuck. That's why screens are made to have just the right amount of bumpiness. Where do we want lots of friction? On your shoes. The bumpy pattern on the bottom helps grip the floor so that you don't slip. Bicycle brakes need friction to stop the wheels. And rubber gloves help you hold wet dishes without dropping them. But sometimes we want less friction. That's why we put oil on bike chains, so they move smoothly. Ice skates glide because there's little friction between the metal blade and the ice. And slides at the playground are smooth so you can zoom down quickly. We can make more friction by making surfaces rougher. Like adding rough bits to garden gloves so that tools don't slip out of our hands. Or making car tyres made out of rough rubber so that cars don't slip on the road. Water resistance is another contact force. It's when water pushes against you, causing friction between the surface of the water and the surface of your skin. Have you tried running in a swimming pool? It's much harder than running on land because the water pushes back. Air resistance works the same way. When you ride your bike really fast at the park, you can feel the air pushing against you. Or maybe when you hold your umbrella up on a windy day. Air resistance is why racing cyclists bend low to get less air pushing against them. Don't forget to check out our free worksheet on contact forces in the description below. You can try some fun experiments at home as well to see friction in action. And make sure to watch our next video where we'll explore amazing non-contact forces like magnetism and gravity. Forces that work without touching at all.